Today's lesson is lesson 1-5, problem solving, guess and check. So that means that we're going to use the guess and check method in order to solve word problems. And by the end of this lesson, you're going to know what the guess and check method is, and you're going to be able to use it to solve problems. So here's the example that we're going to do today. It says, my soccer team held a car wash to help pay for a trip to a tournament. We charged $5 for a car and $7 for an SUV. During the first hour, we washed 10 vehicles and earned $58. How many of each vehicle were washed? So we're going to use the RISE method. And remember that means the R stands for restate or find the problem. And this right here, how many of each vehicle were washed is the R step. So I'm going to just draw a little line, a little arrow. And there we have the, the problem. That's the question that we're looking to solve. So now I'm going to do the I step. What sort of information was given to us in this problem? Well, this first sentence is talking about the soccer team held a car wash for a trip to a tournament. That first sentence doesn't tell us anything we need to know. This so next sentence it says we charged five dollars for a car. Hmm. Five. The price of five dollars for a car seems to be important. So I'm going to write that down. Five dollars equals car. This next part, and $7 for an SUV. That must be important too. So I'm going to write $7 equals SUV. And it says during the first hour. Well, if we go back and look at the question, how many vehicles were washed, it, that question has nothing to do with time. So this first hour, that's extra information. We don't need to write that down. It says we washed 10 vehicles. So I could write down 10 washed. And then it says they earned $58. That's also important. Earned $58. There's all of our important information. A car costs $5 to wash. An SUV is $7. They washed a total of 10. And they earned $58. So now I'm going to do the S step. That's solve. This is where I'm going to come up with my plan of how I'm going to solve the problem, and I'm actually going to do it. So since this is the guess and check method, that means that I'm going to just take simply take a guess and see if it works. Well, my first guess is that I'm going to try doing half of each vehicle. So half the total number of vehicles washed, I'm going to do half cars and half SUVs. So half a 10 is 5. So that's going to be five cars, five C, five times C, because we're going to multiply however much you earn for washing one car by the number of cars that you wash. And I'm going to add to that five times the cost of washing an SUV. And I'm going to figure out what that is. In this first guess, maybe I'll get it right, or maybe I'll get it wrong. And if I get it wrong, this first guess will give me some information letting me know where I should go from here. So now I'm going to substitute in the values of um, how much we earn to wash each one of these. So that means 5 times $5 for the cars plus 5 times $7 for the SUVs. 5 times 5 is 25 plus 5 times 7 is 35. And when I add those two together, I get 60. Well, that means 60 is just a little too high. It's not quite $58, remember that's what we're looking for. That one isn't it. But this first problem that I did gives me an idea that I'm kind of close. Well, I don't want to make it have any more SUVs because SUVs are the one that cost the most to wash. So if I changed SUVs to six and changed cars to four, that would increase my cost of how much we earned. I actually want to do the opposite. I want to make it so we earn a little bit less money. So that means I want to wash fewer SUVs and wash a few more cars. So let me just adjust these each by one. That means I'm going to make it have six cars and six plus four SUVs. And I'm going to give this a try. So six times five plus four times seven. Six times five is 30, and four times seven is 28. 
And when I add those two together, I get 58. Right there, that one worked, 58, 58. So that means this is my answer. I'm gonna put a circle around it. I'm gonna make it really clear that I mean six cars and four SUVs. And down here in the um, examine and explain step, I'm going to explain how I did this. I, and I would write down here in words that I started by doing half cars and half SUVs and I learned that my answer after I did out my math was just slightly too high. So I decided to adjust it and make it fewer SUVs because those are the ones that cost the most to wash and make it a few more cars so that I can make my answer go down just a little bit. And that's what I would write out here in words, explaining how I got my answer. And that's the guess and check method. So basically what you do is you make an educated guess and then you check your answer, you use that information and you make another guess. And maybe after your second guess that gives you some more information and maybe you have to do a third guess and a fourth guess until you get it. I happen to guess well on this first one and get it within, I only had to do out the problem two times in order to be able to get my answer. That's the guess and check method.